Ingram, Peter Lee, Derek Davey, Rob Watson, Sarah Schofield, Chris Lowe, Andrew Jenkins, and Derek Morton. They're coming tomorrow night. He's coming back tomorrow night. If you'd like to enter a summer of the rules on page 375 of Teletext on ITV, there's a full set on the ITV website, or you can send a self address envelope to Millionaire Rules, here Box Double Four Number Four, London, WC2E 9CA. But if you want to win it, you've got to ring it. That's what Mike did, that's what Tony did. 09002 Lines are open right now. Coming up next is Sunday night, Coronation Street. And we'll see you again tomorrow night at 8 o'clock tomorrow Monday on ITV. Good night. Tonight's 10 brand new contestants. They are Peter Lee from Cardigan. Derek Morton from Londonderry. Rob Watson from Plymouth. David Neal from North Lincolnshire. Chris Lowe from Birmingham. Andy Meldrum from West Sussex. Ian McDonough from Cheshire. Derek Davey from Leicestershire. Sarah Scofield from Wiltshire. And Andrew Jenkins from Surrey. Starting with the fewest, put these parts of the adult body in order according to the number of each. Ribs, teeth, toes, kidneys. This is, of course, uh, not necessarily what you got left now. It's what you started with, right? Um, started with the fewest, put these parts of the adult body in order uh, according to the number of each. Right, let's have a look then, the right order. First and foremost, then kidneys, you should have two of those. Uh, toes, you should have ten. Ribs, 24. And teeth, 32. That's the right order. Let's find out who got it right. Then let's find out who got it right in the fastest time. These got it right, only one. Peter Lee in 14.58 seconds. Right, you ready for this? Uh, this time, yeah, let's yeah. go two more questions. Let's do okay. one million pounds. Right, sure. that's a great night. Come on, let's do it. Right, here we go again on this Monday night. Now, this is Peter Lee from Cardigan in Wales. He spent 25 years in the Royal Navy. Now, Peter's here tonight because he describes this show as the Holy Grail. That's it. Of quiz yeah. shows. And I am Monty Python. Uh, his wife, Sue, is at home looking after the dogs and cat. Now, one of Peter's grandsons lives in the United States, and if Peter wins a million pounds, he said one thing he'd like to do is bring him, his grandson, back over here uh, to have trials with a few English football clubs. He's that good, is he? He's brilliant. Yeah, he's 10. So who, who would he, who would he play player. for then, ideally? Swansea. <laughs> <laughs> Great team. Swansea. OK. What was it like for you sitting there watching, watching that? Because just extraordinary. We Quarter hoped million. we were going to be in on the first million pound show. Yeah, we I, hoped I think everybody be. thought that, actually. Yeah. Two lifelines as well. Yeah. You're certainly here the first time that anyone has ever phoned a friend for half a million, which is mm. just amazing. Listen, two more questions. We'd be there. So it could be you, Peter. I hope it is. OK. okay. Right, 15 questions, one million pounds. It sounds so easy when you say it like that. We just got the 13 questions just now. Let's do 15 this time. Three new lifelines, 50-50, phone a friend, ask the audience. Ready for this? Yes. OK, let's do it again this Monday night. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Right, Peter, lots of luck. Uh, for 100 pounds, have a look at this. What was the nickname of the American showman William Frederick Cody? For 100 quid. Bison Bob. Bulldog Bert, Buffalo Bill, or Bumblebee Brian? <laughs> Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill's Chris. the right answer, yeah. yeah. Okay, Pete, just 14 little questions between you and one million. Question number two, 200 quid. If you try to emulate your neighbours socially, you're keeping up with the Browns, Smiths, Joneses, Bakers. Jones is Chris. It's the right answer, you've got 200 quid. <laughs> right, for 300 pounds, don't forget, there's no trick questions. You've got all your lifelines, use one if you need them, but there are no trick questions, they just slowly get harder. Have a look for 300 pounds. What's the centre of a storm called? Nose, eye, ear, chin. 
Oh, hey, Chris. Oh, that's right, you got 300 quid. <laughs> Peter, they're nice and straightforward. Just take your time, just be aware that these first five questions, if you did give me a wrong answer, you go home with nothing. I'm sure it won't happen. You've got all three lifelines anyway. Have a look at the next question. It's worth £500. Question number four. In the world of trees, what is the opposite of evergreen? Opposite of evergreen. Desiccated. Deceptive. Deciduous. Deceased. Deciduous. <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got 500 quid. <laughs> trees that shed all their leaves in the winter are called deciduous. Right, last point at which you could go home with nothing, but this is worth £1,000. Peter, give me the right answer. You go home tonight with at least £1,000. Question number five. Here it comes. Which word means a person who has little or no experience at sea? You probably know this. How many, what was it, 25 years in the Navy? 25. If not, you'll be in all sorts of abuse from your neighbours. Landlady, landholder, landowner, landlubber. Landlubber, Chris. It's right for £1,000. Well done. Come <laughs> a nice amount you've got you've got a thousand i mean obviously a million would be a very very nice amount but what would be quite a nice amount i just bought a car last week for four thousand so four thousand would do that'd be a nice amount okay <laughs> okay let's get you up to that at least you've got all three lifelines uh you're on question number six for two thousand pounds have a look which industry is sometimes referred to as tin pan alley steel music catering car repair Music, Chris. Right answer, you've got £2,000. <laughs> it's based originally on a district in New York, I think, which was called Tim Pan Alley. Right, Peter, take your time. You've got £2,000. You've still got all three lifelines. You're going well. Have a look at the next question. It's worth £4,000. You're guaranteed going home with £1,000. If you gave me a wrong answer, you would drop £1,000. But you've still got three lifelines. Have a look at question number seven. Corgi means dwarf dog in which language? Spanish, Italian, Welsh, Manx. Dwarf dog in which language? Take your time. It's worth £4,000. You have got three lifelines. Corgi means dwarf dog in which language? Spanish, Italian, Welsh, Manx. I'm trying to think of where they come from. Phone a friend, you could ring the Queen. <laughs> What's the language, Corgi? I think I'd like to ask the audience, I think, to see if they know. OK. <laughs> OK, let's see what happens. Uh, audience, it's worth £4,000 to Peter, please. Corgi means dwarf dog in which language? A is Spanish. B on your keypads will be Italian. C is Welsh. D is Manx. All vote now. Forty-six percent think it's Welsh. Um, Nineteen, twenty, fifteen. No, I know a bit of Welsh, but I don't, that doesn't sound familiar. Oh, Welsh corgis, of course it is. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what are you, what are you muttering? I about? suddenly thought Welsh corgis, isn't it? Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll go with the audience. I think uh, there's Welsh corgis. Yeah. Welsh. Final answer. You don't have to. You don't have to play. You got two thousand. It's up to you. Well, I've never heard it in Welsh. Yeah, I'll stick with I'll stick with that one. Final answer. Final. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the right answer. You got four thousand pounds. <laughs> Welsh for Dwarf Dog. Right, you've got £4,000. Have a look at the next question. You've still got two lifelines. Still got your 50-50 and you've still got phone a friend. Have a look at the next question. It's worth £8,000 to you. You're guaranteed £1,000. Pete, if you gave me a wrong answer, you'd lose £3,000. But if you play it and give me the right answer, you double your money up to £8,000. Have a look. It's question number 8 of 15. Who was the last British governor of Hong Kong? You know this one? Mm -hmm. See if it comes up. Who do you think? Chris Patton. OK, let's see. Norman Lamont. Chris Patton, Neil Kinnock, or Edward Heath? Chris Patton. Sure, final yep. answer? Yep. You've got £8,000. <laughs> right. £8,000 
8,000 pounds and you've still got two lifelines. This is a nice situation to end the show. you still got a 50-50 and you can still phone a friend and we had a phone a friend tonight on 500,000 pounds. Fred, that really is all we've got time for tonight. Earlier on tonight, Mike Sackett, seems a long time ago now, Mike Sackett went away with 64,000 and then David Neal became only the second person on the UK version, if he wants to be a millionaire, to win 250,000 pounds. A quarter of a million he went home with. Peter Lee here at the moment is on £8,000 with two lifelines remaining. He comes back at the top of the show tomorrow night, Tuesday night. Now, let's see who else will be joining us tomorrow. Steve Sargent, Dave Pym, Susan Greenfield, Margaret Whitaker, Mick Hammond, Darren Wilson, Jeff Yarrington Bull, Vincent O'Kane, Kevin McGaff, and Alec Bruce. He's coming back tomorrow night as well. He starts on £8,000 with two lifelines. If you'd like to enter, some of the rules are on page 375 of Teletext on ITV. There's a full set on the ITV website. <laughs> or you can send a self address envelope to Millionaire Rules, PO Box 4444 London, WC2E 9TA. But if you want to win it, you've got to ring it. That's what he did. That's what they all did tonight. We gave away a quarter of a million again. The number 09002 to be a millionaire. I've got no idea who it is, so I'll take the money. What am I? £64,000. This is not your quarter of a million. <laughs> and if it's wrong, you do not lose £218,000. He does, OK? I'll take the money, thank you. OK, give him a huge round of applause. £250,000. You've got £8,000. Welcome to day three of this series of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now, if you remember at the end of last night's show, Peter Lee here was on £8,000 with two lifelines still remaining. Also, last night, epic night last night, David Neal became only the second person ever on the UK version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire to win a quarter of a million pounds, 250 grand. Now, once again, Peter's wife Sue is still at home uh, looking after all the family pets, but he has a number of friends here tonight, uh, including the daughters of two of his phoner friends, Alison and Nicola. Peter, trust me on this you get eight grand friends come out the woodwork out of nowhere <laughs> if Peter wins uh, a lot of money he said he'd like to visit his two great grandchildren in the United States uh, who he's never ever actually seen but more important than that if he wins a million he said he'd like to have his garden landscaped by Charlie Dimmock <laughs> <laughs> what's well, the magic for you about Charlie Dimmock's work Peter what is that um, I just like the way she does it you know she's yeah. sort of <laughs> She's I professional. Like be, She's professional. I'd just like to be landscaped by Charlie Dimmock, person. <laughs> if you'd like to be here like Peter, then call us on 09002 444444. Use your number 0902 444444. And you too could be here before the end of the series playing for serious money. Now, Peter's still got two lifelines remaining. He's got 50 50, and he's still got phone a friend. Now, incidentally, as you probably saw last night on ITV, David Neal's phone a friend last night was for £500,000, which really is the ultimate test of any friendship. Maybe tonight, fingers crossed, we could go even further. Right, you ready for this, Peter? Yes. OK, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> this is question number 9 of 15. It's worth £16,000. Here it is. Bhutan is a small country situated in which range of mountains? Alps, Pyrenees, Andes, Himalayas, Himalayas, Chris. Why are you so confident? I just know that's where it is. <laughs> final well, answer. I hope it's where it is. Final answer? <laughs> yes, final answer, yeah. Yes. Yes. Charlie Dimmock, you're on a promise. He's just won £16,000. <laughs> A 
bet you Charlie is at home now watching this, quivering with excitement. Pete. <laughs> £16,000, you can obviously walk away. Mm. Peter, take your time. Mm -hmm. Have a look at it. Question number 10. It's worth 32000 Which of these is made from beef? Prosciutto. Pastrami. Pumpernickel. Panettone. You've got £16,000, yeah. but it's worth 32000 That's pastrami, Chris, I think. How do you know that? Pastrami beef on rye. No, big sandwich. It's up to you. You do lose 15,000 if it's the wrong answer. You've got two lifelines. Well, it's up to you. There's a bread there and there's uh, something else there. And yeah, I'll go for that one. Pastrami. Final answer. Yep. <laughs> You've just won 32,000. Three great nights already on this series. Wait for it. Have a look at it first. <laughs> Pay Peter yeah, Lee £32,000. It's very, very, very good. Yeah. It's very, very nice. Yes. But we don't want to give you that. We will give you that quite happily, Pete. But you are five questions away from £1 million. The next one is worth £64,000. You might as well play that whatever. You can't lose. You'd still go away with £32,000. Have a look at it. It's question number 11. Which of these actresses has not appeared in Coronation Street? Not appeared in Coronation Street. Patricia Routledge. Maureen Lipman. Prunella Scales. Joanna Lumley. You've got two lifelines. Yeah, it's Maureen Lipman. I, th I can remember the others being in it. Joanna Lumley was a boyfriend of somebody or others. Prunella Scales was in it and Patricia Routledge, so it's Maureen Lipman. You sure? Yeah, about 2%. <laughs> no, about 2%. Sure. Final answer, yeah? Yeah, final answer. You're very good on your soaps. You've just won 64. <laughs> Joe Lumley, I think she was um, Ken Barlow's, Ken Barlow's boyfriend. girlfriend or girlfriend. Yeah, not boyfriend, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, no, that was a very different play. Um, <laughs> Vanilla Scales was a bus conductress, I yeah. think. I think the other one ran uh, ran a cafe or something. But you're right. Sorry, anyway, yeah, more in living. Mm. Peter, have a look at that. Feast your eyes on that sunbeam. Sixty-four thousand. Mm. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it won't go away. Sixty-four thousand pounds at the moment. Yeah. You've still got two lifelines. You've still got fifty-fifty. And you've still got phone a friend. Have a look at question number 12 of 15. Which John Osborne play features the character Archie Rice? You know this, don't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what do you think? The Entertainer. Wait and see. Wait and see what comes up. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> the Entertainer. <laughs> West of Suez. Look back in anger. Time present. I'll go for the first one. The end of time. Final answer, you're absolutely sure? Yep. It's good here, isn't it? You've just won 125. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, what your wife Sue's doing at home, but I sh think she's in the most <laughs> dreadful state, looking after the pets. Um, Peter, at this moment, have a look at that. I can give you a cheque for one... <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen one that big before. £125,000. Oh, brilliant. Have a look at the next question. You don't have to play it, but it's worth a quarter of a million. Which French Impressionist painter which French Impressionist painter had a son who became a successful film director? Pissarro, Degas, Sisley, Renoir. I've 
got an idea what it might be, but I think this is where one of my lives comes in, I think. What, um, what do you think? Which one? I think it's probably Renoir, but that's a guess. It's worth a quarter of a million if you can get to the right answer. Yeah. I think I'll go for a 50-50, I think, at this stage, I think. OK, all right. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Peter just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Yeah. You don't have to play this question. It's up to you. You've got £125,000 at this moment. It's worth a quarter of a million. Yeah, I'm a bit of a film fan, and that just sounds sounds right, but I'm not 100% certain. Take your time. Uh, one of those is worth £250,000. Yeah. One of those, if you played it, would cost you £93,000. Uh -huh. I think I might call on one of my uh, phone of friends, please. OK. And it'll be, um, I think, Derek. Derek, OK, who's he? Yeah. He's a film fan. His, his daughter's in the audience. <laughs> She's the one who's just gone, oh, <laughs> God, he's going to ring Daddy. <laughs> oh. It's be worse for her, you or Daddy, actually. <laughs> 30 seconds, two possible answers. One of them's worth a quarter of a million. You can tell him how much it is. Somebody tell him? Hello. Derek? Yes? Good evening. It's Chris Tarrant on ITV, who wants to be a millionaire. Hello. Hello, good heavens. Hello, good heavens. Um, I've got Peter here, Peter Lee. Yes. Um, I've also got your daughter here who's looking absolutely terrified. Uh, Derek, I can tell you good news. At the moment, Peter is on £125,000. £125, one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. One hundred and twenty-five thousand. Wow. Well, with your help, we can hopefully get him up to two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Mm, good heavens. Okay. Uh, the next voice you hear will be Peter's. There are only two answers left. One is the right answer, one's wrong. OK, Derek? OK. OK, Peter, your time starts now. Yeah, Del Boy. Hello, Peter Kim. <laughs> Which French Impressionist painter had a son who became a successful film director? Which French Impressionist painter had, had a son who became a successful film director? Was it Pissarro or Renoir? Pissarro or Renoir? <clears throat> well, I know there is a film director called Renoir, but I don't know of one called Pissarro. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, you've just confirmed what I was but, uh, hoping. Um, if that's what you believe, uh, there is a, a Renoir film director, but I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah. Peter, I know it's a serious moment, but Del Boy and Peter kid. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> Peter, take your time. It's entirely up to you. You can take this money. You do not have to play this question. If you're wrong, it has cost you £93,000. No, I'm going for it. I'll go for Renoir. That sounded familiar to me, and if Del Boy knows his films, so... Or Derek, sorry. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Renoir. Renoir. We'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes. Oh. Tonight's show is sponsored by Jacob's Herbs and Spice Crackers. Welcome back to the second part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I must say it's only the third night. It's been an epic series so far. Just before we went to the break, Peter Lee was on 125,000. He decided to play question number 13 of 15. He used up his lifelines. The question was, which French impressionist painter had a son who became a successful film director? The only two left were Pissarro or Renoir. Peter went for Renoir. If he's wrong, it's cost him £93,000. It hasn't. He's just won a quarter of a million. <laughs> oh, thank you. Give us a calm as well. <laughs> Have a look then, Peter. £250,000. Look at that, a quarter of a million. <laughs> you can hold it. You do it back. You do it back. You can take that and walk away. You've got no more lifelines, but 
you are just two questions away from one million pounds. The next question is worth five hundred thousand pounds. If you give me a wrong answer, if you decide to play it and give me a wrong answer, you still get thirty-two thousand pounds, but you lose two hundred eighteen thousand. Take as long as you need. It's question number fourteen <coughs> of fifteen. Here it comes. All right. What does the Japanese word kamikaze literally mean? Sacred venture, divine wind, self-destruction, final attack. Yep. It's divine wind. Why are you so sure? Okay. Japan's one of my favourite countries, so I've been there a few times and I've just picked up a few phrases and just hope that that's it anyways. It's up to you. If you're wrong, you lose 218,000. You can walk away with a quarter of a million. No, as the old saying goes, I came with nothing. I'll, if I go with 32, then... Yes, Peter, I know that old saying, but it doesn't apply for a quarter of a million quid. <laughs> Final answer. Mm. Yep, final answer. You just won five hundred. That's incredible. Five hundred thousand pounds. That is fantastic. I'm absolutely delighted. That is the biggest. In this country, on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? At this moment, Peter Lee has five hundred thousand pounds. I'm not going for the next. Have a look at this. <laughs> Half a million. Yeah, I wonder what I've done now. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want to give. You that. <laughs> Have a look at this. I never thought I'd say this. Question number 15 of 15. If you give me the right answer, it is worth one million pounds. You don't have to play it. If you're wrong, you lose 468,000 <laughs> pounds. Which county cricket side is based at Chester Le Street, Warwickshire, Durham, North Hants, Leicestershire? With the other ones, I was about 90%, 95% sure this, so I'm not. So I think I'm going to take the 500,000. <laughs> oh, I'll just take the 500,000, please. Out of interest, which one, which one are you thinking towards? I would side with Leicestershire, but I'm, I'm not... There wouldn't be a... The other ones I've been sort of near 90%. I, I wouldn't know. I tell you what, give this guy a huge... Yeah. He goes away with a cheque for £500,000! I can tell you... If you had gone along with your gut instinct there and you'd said to me the word Leicestershire, you would have just lost 468 grand. The right answer is actually Durham. He goes away, the biggest winner ever, with half a million. Fantastic. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I'd love to Well done. Three nights this series, absolutely epic stuff. Peter Lee goes back to Cardigan with half a million pounds. 09002 444444. That's the number to call if you'd like to be playing for that sort of money. Of course you would. Or even more, just one more question. Now, time to meet ten brand new contestants for tonight. They are Mick Hammond from Leicestershire, Vincent O'Kane from Lancashire, Margaret Whitaker from Berkshire.
Kevin here tonight, this guy, Peter Lee, became the first Briton to win half a million pounds on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> he just won 500 <laughs> A million pound winner of this series. Join us tomorrow at 8. Call 09002444444 now and you can become a contestant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? In a million, but Peter Lee, a retired naval officer aged 65, picked up half a million tonight on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on ITV. It's the biggest prize paid out so far and Neil Connery saw how he did it. No would-be millionaire has gone so far. I remember at the end of last night's show, Peter Lee here was on £8,000. But by the end of tonight, Peter Lee was on the verge of winning half a million pounds. It all came down to one question. What does the Japanese word kamikaze literally mean? Sacred venture. Divine wind. Self-destruction. Final attack. And Peter's answer? Divine wind. He just won five. <laughs> He's won more than anyone to date, but is he glad he played it safe rather than going for a million? You're tempted, but I'd have to have been a bit more certain, and I think I was I, I was on the wrong track anyway, and I wouldn't have um, I wouldn't have known it. The man with the answers denies the questions are getting any easier. I thought there were some much harder questions on the way up. Some of, the, some of the lower ones were really difficult, far harder than a million pounds. So what would it take to reach a million? Which county cricket side is based at Chester Le Street? Would-be millionaires may have known the answer was County Durham, but instead Peter was just glad to be a half-millionaire. He goes away, the biggest winner ever, with half a million! Neil Connery, ITN. Good luck to him, and that's the way it looks tonight. It's been a very good night for Peter Lee from Cardigan. He's won the biggest prize ever on the hit ITV game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And as Lucy Cohen reports, he didn't even have to phone a friend. <laughs> Peter's feet haven't touched the ground since he picked up his cheque for half a million pounds. It still hasn't sunk in, as I said before. It just, um, it's, I keep looking at the cheque to see that it's real. Despite the pressure, Peter kept his nerve. Yep, final answer. He just won five. <laughs> but millionaire dreams had been a million miles away. She said, I just want to win four grand to be great. Four thousand pounds would be, you know, plenty. Sort me knackered old car out and whatever. That's all he wanted. So he's 496,000 pounds up on his, uh, his game plan. At home in Llandigwydd, villagers are preparing a winner's welcome. So we've got a few balloons blown up. I don't know who's going to provide the champagne. He can do that, surely, with all the money that he's got. <laughs> now Peter's thinking about moving to the United States to be with his son and his family. Lucy Cohen, HTV News.